basically uh, we've implemented voice motion and facial recognition technology into our new premium TVs 7 and 8 series LEDs and also plasma A series and with this feature consumers can easily uh, use the uh, basic TV functions like on turning on and off the TV change the channels even adjusting volumes and even uh, regarding the you know smart TV application services you can access directly to your favorite applications just by speaking the name of the app it's that simple okay so the idea is to have is to use your use your TV without having to pick up the remote control okay. so should we start the demo Activated. Hi TV. You can't make a man do what he doesn't want to do. Hi TV. I think it's getting tired. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hi TV. Okay. So basically we call this a voice command bar. So it basically shows, shows the, uh, the voice commands that you can use just by reading out the command. Channel up. Channel up. Channel down. Volume up. Volume down. Channel number. Channel 1000. 31. See, what it did was just by speaking out the channel number, directly went to the, uh, on the channels you want to watch. Channel 1033. Channel 1033. And Hi TV. Hi TV. To deactivate the voice command, just say Hi TV, and the voice command bar will disappear. And you can still, if oh, we sorry, want to ahead. talk French, do we have to put the language to to explain that we will speak French, or that will it yes, recognize you, it? You will have. Uh, actually, you need to uh, choose your language. Okay. Uh, when when you do the installation, I mean okay. when you do the plug and play. Uh, Installation when you first bought, buys you when you first bought your TV, and there would be a you know process where you will just easily follow and just set up the language and activate the voice control, and you are ready to go. Okay. Very easy. <laughs> Is it done locally the voice recognition, or you need to be connected to internet to go? So, uh, uh, it's. I mean, there are there are two main main features. Um, there are one is called the embedded uh, voice control, meaning that it's all embedded on the TV, okay? And it's really related with basic TV controls, just like what I demonstrated here, channel, changing the channels, volumes, uh, and also I'm gonna be showing you later on how to uh, get into the uh, smart hub and, you know, web browsers and stuff like that. And there's also, there will also be a voice search feature and it's going to be related to internet because it has to be connected to the server that we are using because you know if you want to search uh, a certain word and you know certainly it's going to be there's going to be so much variations and our tvs cannot you know store all all the database that you, you require so basically it's going to be linked to the server and server will give you the give you uh, provide you with some with the feedback of the search results and is it possible to put the TV on just by the voice or yes I think let me just show you that hi TV TV power off okay you just I just turned it off with the voice and again you need to just say hi TV hi TV Hi TV. And came on. So, uh, 
just to let you know that um, this will work pretty well in a normal home environment. I mean, this is certainly, uh, you know, this show event is not an ideal place to actually demonstrate this kind of feature. So we try to uh, consolidate the room as much as possible. Yes. And better, what about the volume of your TV? If you have a movie, for example, mm -hmm. can you still uh, give some orders, or the the, the 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 sound of the movie will overlap your uh, command? Mm. Because the, here the volume is very low for mm -hmm. volume. Mm -hmm. What about if you raise up the volume? Yeah, it will still uh, adjust the volume to. Uh, are you talking about? You know, adjusting the TV volume at the same time, or yes, commanding your TV while while the volume is sure. quite high. Yeah, sure, it's still possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and if somebody in the movie say high TV power off. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have that. That was the reason why we embedded uh, three. I think three technologies. I'm not the I'm not the R and D guy, but there's there's this uh, noise suppressor where it recognizes your voice from you know, outside noise. And there's also beamformer technology where the, um, it's because you're far from the TV, uh, it will, you know, clarify, it will make your voice clearer as it, as it is transmitted to the TV. And lastly, uh, echo canceler, which will, uh, which will actually separate your voice from the TV volume. And do you think that children will use it also? Yes. Yeah. Of course. Yes. Okay. Uh, unless they are too young, or you know, they are you know, they don't have you know the knowledge to do this. Uh, as long as they have a you know nice voice, <laughs> yeah, why not? So, in which TV you find this? Uh, this year it's going to be LED 7000 and 8000, a premium LED lineup, and also the uh, PDP 8000. Series, and I'm sure we will. We are going to uh, expand the feature in the, in the future. Is it connected to a dual core? Uh? Yes. Uh, and also, I can show you the same function with the motion. Just a question again about the voice. When you launch something like Facebook, is it a, is it possible to dictate to say a text and that recognized and written or, or mm, not at the moment? Not at the moment. Okay. Um, that's, those are the things that we are trying to, uh, I would say, uh, those, are the try to, those are the directions that we are trying to evolve this feature into. And I can't say for sure you know, when it's going to be uh, actually happening, but, uh, but, yeah. And maybe it will be upgraded on this one, or you will have to buy a new one to, to get in new improvements? That's where I think the smart evolution uh, concept comes in, okay. I think. Well, it could be nice. Yeah. In which model do you find the smart evolution concept? Um, it's not been confirmed yet, but I guess uh, I think certainly the pr our premium TVs will be uh, future-proof TVs. So I think seven, eight, seven and eight thousand. I assume, but you know, still, lineup is not finalized yet. Okay. So let me show you how to uh, use the motion. Hi TV. Just by waving your hand like this. Actually, I'm not in a very good position here. So the cursor comes up, and the cursor moves as your hand moves, and by just grabbing your fist, grabbing your fist, fist means uh, run or execute or enter. So you can adjust your volumes like this, and also you can, you know, go through the channels. If you if you hold your fist like this, it will go through the channels just like that. You jump to the channels. Okay. Uh, and also you can you can activate. Uh, the apps by your voice, high TV, smart hub, and 
fall off. And, and there's also an interesting feature called uh, face recognition. Um, basically, all you have, to, you know, it's, it's still hard, very hard to, uh, <coughs> you know, log into your username, password, and do all this kind of typing thing uh, with current uh, regular current TV remote. But, um, sorry, cancel. Okay, exit. ITV Smart Hub Smart Hub So basically when I press the login Would it be high, high TV in every language? Uh, no, actually, uh, French would be, I think, different. It's not decided yet, but H is not a pronounceable, you know, alphabet in France. It's different, yeah. It's yeah. I mean, we we we've, we've run uh, we've run a field test, and most French people say high TV as e de, e TV or you know something mm -hmm. like that, which means it doesn't really mean anything. So. We are trying to uh, we are trying to do our best to localize the trigger word as much as possible, especially. Yeah, how many, many languages are you Um, can't say for sure at this moment, but at least more than uh, 20 languages. Uh, in the beginning, but uh, we'll see. So, what? I think you missed that, but what it just did it recognized your faces. Seeing you as a new face. Yeah. <laughs> new house. Uh, right. <laughs> I'm already uh, registered, so it recognizes my uh, my username. And all, all I need to do is, you know, wait, shake my hand gently and just click. Then it will log into my Smart TV account. It is a 2D camera. Yes. So what would it change between the different accounts? It means that if I have kids, for example, I, I can... Yes. So basically, uh, if you have an account, if you have a single sign-on account, uh, it will uh, automatically, I mean, if you link your kids, you know, ID, kids ID or your ID that you have for the family hub, it's going to be all linked to your single sign-on ID. Uh, it's going to be uh, your unified ID you know, username or identity, uh, profile. So when you log in, you're going to be logged into all the services okay. at the same time. And also... And I can browser. cut some applications for my kids. Uh, I can say, for example, I don't want that they go online. Oh, yeah, that's something, I mean, uh, those are the, uh, those are the you know, applications we could, we could think of. Okay. Very good suggestion though. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, I mean, uh, from the beginning, we are we are going to be pretty much starting with some selected apps first okay. in the beginning. But you know, we'll be actually uh, working with our you know content partners, of course, uh, and to try to expand this feature into uh, many more applications in the future. And in the web browser, something interesting here flat blue uh, bracket. This is called the, uh, the gravity cursor. And what it does is, you know, sometimes when you, you know, use your hand to navigate the web page, it's sometimes a little bit hard to, you know, click a very small web link or the web links that are too close to each other. So what it does is it helps you to uh, uh, easily uh, click the link that you want to click by attaching the cursor automatically to the link. And can you type a text like that, for example, to change the URL? Yes, but it's not implemented here yet. Okay, okay. it will be. Okay. So I just went into the uh, web page, and when you want to go to the previous page, all you need to do is 
circle counterclockwise. Then Uh, so, uh, that's pretty much it for me. I think I showed you how to turn on the TV. Do you want to try? Yeah. Hi, TV. TV power off. Okay. 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 Does it recognize your voices? Of course. <laughs>